Welcome, I'm Aliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. In this video, I'm going to talk about why you still think of someone after years of no contact. It can make you feel truly disempowered and confused as to what's going on with you. Are you obsessed? What's happening that you're thinking of someone all the time and they're not there in your physical reality? They're ignoring you or they're just not there and you don't understand what's happening to you. Why is it that you can't focus on people who truly are around you? This is energy and I'm going to explain how the energy of thoughts works. When you first see someone, that first moment that you laid eyes on each other, you connect. You can connect with the energy of your mind or you can connect with the energy of your heart your core. And depending on how it is you connect, that is the energy that will be moving forward, that will be flowing forward. And the two have very different frequencies, very different vibrations. Now, when you're attracted to someone with your mind, there is um, this image that you have of what it is that you find attractive, of who it is you truly want to be with, characteristics that you like, qualities and character that you enjoy, what it is that is important to you to be experiencing. And when this happens and it flows forward from your mind, it's coming from your subconscious. It's not things that you have consciously chosen, consciously said that this is what I truly admire. This is what moves me forward into bringing forward the best in me. Now, it's things coming from your mind. It's flowing forward subconsciously. And that means that what you saw is based on things that you've already seen, already experienced up to this point. You may even not have experienced it on your own. It's maybe something that you saw and admired in a film, in a book, in someone's relationship that you saw around you in your environment. Something that you saw, you saw in this person. Something that you admire, something that you're attracted to, you saw in him or her. And that is a connection that happened through your mind. Now, when the connection happens through your heart, through your core, that is truly different. That is something that sparked and awoke a part of you that is forever infinite, that is forever flowing forward. And that type of connection is on the quantum level. It is on the completely subatomic level of infinite energy. And that cannot be broken. You cannot say that I want to cut all ties with this person. The connection once made is there. Whether it's energy that's connected in your mind or in your heart, you always have the choice. If you look at it, see it and understand it, then you can choose. This is what I want. This is what I don't want. This brings me happiness. This doesn't. But you need to look in order to see and be able to choose. Now, when it's coming from the heart, when I say there's this infinite connection on the quantum level, it means that the two of you know that you bring out the best in each other, know that you awaken parts in each other that is infinite, that brings so much energy in you, that sparks all of you to awaken. Now, many times when you see this person and that spark, reminds you of that energy within you. You feel that because they awoke that part in you, that you need to find a way to bring him or her fully into your life for you to be completely who you are, to be living in happiness, to be living in joy, to be living in love. But the thing is that if you go on the journey of trying to control him or her, trying to awaken him or her, trying to remind them of who you are, this, you're bound to do this. You're bound to go on that journey. But you come to the point where you realize that only by letting go and only by choosing to focus all of your energy and every drop of it, not have some on him or her and most of it in you. 
all of it to go into your heart and into your core, to stand in all you are and truly bring forward all the best in you that you've chosen consciously, then he or her feels it. The Attract Love course that I created moves you out of constantly thinking of someone, of trying to attract someone with your mind, of those never-ending cycles, and moving you fully into all that you are, into all of your happiness, all of your love, and in this way, attracting the one that you will stand together and move forward together into endless love, beautiful love. Check out the link below. It's really an amazing, powerful course that will transform your life. Now, when it is that you are constantly thinking of someone, see if it's from your mind or if it's from your heart. When you're constantly thinking of someone who's not have contact with you for years and years, and yet you're thinking of them. If it's coming from your mind, then there are these games being played. They've given you a little bit of what you truly enjoy, of what you're attracted to, and then by ghosting you, your mind is trying to understand and find ways that you can bring him or her back into your life to attract them, to bring them for you to be together, to be experiencing things. And what happens is your subconscious cannot deal with this rejection. They have opened up a wound, and a wound that perhaps they didn't create. The most probable thing is that wound already existed. But by coming into your life and then moving out, and for you not having contact for a very long period of time, that wound gets deeper and deeper. It becomes bigger and bigger, and it's constantly bringing forward so many questions, so much energy, making you feel more and more disempowered. And the more disempowered you feel, the more you feel that only if he or she comes into your life Will you stand in all you are? Will you be able to experience love? Move into a relationship, move into your dreams. If it's your heart that has connected with him or her, and this is something that they sparked, this connection formed way, way back, way before even perhaps this life, probably in some previous life, that you connected with one another. You chose one another. And this connection is definitely going to move you forward into you realizing that by letting go and standing in all that you are, that's how you bring all that you are forward. And that means attracting him or her as well. But once you have achieved all that you truly need to do, all that you truly need to see. And that means you believing in you, believing in life, believing in love. The way to know for sure if it's coming from your mind or from your heart, what type of connection this is, is to look at the other person. It, it, do they have qualities that in general you have been attracted to up to this point in your life? Do they represent um, in the physical sense, what it is you're attracted to. In their character, is it what you're usually attracted to? When you think of them, are you trying to work out ways to attract them, ways to bring them into your life? Are you trying to figure out what they're thinking, what they're doing? Then it's coming from your mind. It's flowing forward from your subconscious. If it's heart-centered love and you're attracted to them deep from your core, then it's very different. They do not represent, they do not have the characteristics that you are generally used to, that you're generally attracted to, not in their character, not in their physical form. It is a deeper connection and it is forever flowing forward. You feel so many questions coming up about life, about who you are, and you feel that parts of you have awakened, that have been dormant for so, so long, then it is your heart. It is that divine spark in you awakening and knowing that you are so much more, that there's more to life, that there's more to you. And you come to the realization that you need to look within 
to see what all that is, to see what parts of you you choose to bring forward and what you choose to let go of, what you choose to release. And you letting go of the other person is just the first step. You then move into all that you are. You look at that energy from within you. You choose it. You bring it forward. Whether it's from the mind or the, from the heart, the choice is the same. Move into all that you are. Look within you. Choose you. Believe in life. Believe in love. This is the answer. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and also remember to like.